Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this quick video, I'm going to show you a quick setup guide on how to turn on the GPS receiver on a field fox. Let's walk through the GPS antenna connections to the field fox. So there are two types of antenna that you can use with this field fox. One of it is using the GNSS antenna connector here on top of the field fox. So this is where the internal GPS receiver is. The other one is using the USB type antenna. So what I have here is the U Block 7 antenna. It's just a normal antenna and a USB port at the end of it. And the other one is the GPS antenna with the SMA connector that should go to here. And for the USB antenna goes to either part. So once you've done the physical connections, you can go to system, system configurations, GNSS or GPS. So as I mentioned just now, there are two types of a receiver that you can connect to a field fox, so internal and external. Again, the internal connector is on top of the field fox. The external is the one that you use. The external antenna with a USB port. Right, for this example, I'm going to turn on the internal. So as you can see, there are a few satellite systems that you can choose from. So for the latest hardware and the firmware, you're able to choose between GPS, GONAS, Baidu, and also Galileo. So for our case, right now we just select the GPS. And then this way you can choose to synchronize the clock according to the GPS system and then display on is just to turn on the locations informations on top of the screen and the format so it depends on how your post processing software will work on so there are a few different type of format of the reporting of the locations and you can choose depending on the post processing software that you're using so for this case just choose this one and elevations is either meter or feet or inches depends on whichever parts of the world that you are in and antenna voltage so these are active antenna by default we set it to 2.3 volts again depending on your antenna that you're using and just make sure that the antenna is outdoor so that you have a line of sight satellite out in the sky if it's fresh start, we have to spend about four minutes so that you can capture the enough information from the satellite to lock down on the locations. So right now we just wait and just let it do its job. I'll speed up the video until the location is set. So this is how it looks like when the location is locked down. All the information is needed over here. And one more thing before we finish up is frequency reference source. By default, we always set it to the internal 10 mag reference. So you can use external where you come in another reference source with the few forks as a reference. Or you can use GPS. So this is how it looks like. And you can start clicking synchronize hardware clock just to synchronize with the GPS. So in summary, how to turn that GPS on is to go to system, system configuration, GNSS, GPS pass, and you have to select the receiver, either it's internal receiver or the external receiver. You have to choose the type of format of reporting, and you can switch Fieldfox to refer to GPS as a reference clock. Thanks for watching.